Hello Capricorn and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin and Cape today we're just going to do a general reading baby. Let's talk about you Capricorn. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on, what's coming down the chute. Let's talk about you. Oh, let's see what we can expect. Okay, we have grief and sorrow. Uh-oh, we have expectation. We have a funeral. Whoa, what happened here? And then we have a main male. So it looks like someone might have disappointed you, let you down. Now, for some of you, there could be a death in your family or your, you know, your circle. So for those of you who are experiencing that, my condolences. May their soul rest in peace. But for others of you, I feel like it's just the, uh, the ending of something here. I feel you were disappointed by someone. I feel you had high expectations and it did not go the way you wanted it to go. This could be pertaining to work. It could be pertaining to a friendship, a relationship, a family member. Let's talk about it. Sir so gods, what up with the Capricorn Collective? What are we talking about today? And Cappy, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. So there's a man male. You could be dealing with a, a masculine here, the king of wands, which is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the moon in reverse, which is Cancer, Pisces. We have the chariot, which is also a Cancer energy. But the moon in reverse does represent secrets and a lack of truth. So if someone was keeping some secrets here, and I believe you found out. There's a four of wands. There's the nine of cups, or excuse me, the nine of pentacles. There's the sun. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, baby, we got the hangman. Let me move that over because those are not on camera. I noticed that the other day, my new layout. I was a little lopsided, so I'm trying to get it symmetrical. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this king of wands. What does Cafe need to know about this king of wands? Because I feel this person has really let you down here. But we end this in happiness. So <laughs> let's see how we got from grief and sorrow to the, the, the this energy over here. What is this uh, king of wands energy? Oh, there's Capricorn. Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the World. Wow, okay. There's, we're definitely ending this. There's the Ace of Wands. So the stuck in my, so weird, stuck on my finger. Okay, and there's the High Priestess. There's the Queen of Pentacles. There's you. Um, the Capricorn, I feel like, like I said, like I felt with this Queen, this Moon in Reverse, there was things about this person that you didn't know. Um, they were keeping secrets. They weren't being honest. These secrets have come out. Things have gotten revealed. There's an ending of this connection, friendship, relationship here. I believe you're just turning your back on it and looking for something better. I also believe with the Four of Pentacles here, you didn't engage. You're just like, you know what? You disappointed me. It's kind of like when you're a teenager and your parents, instead of getting mad, they just say, I'm disappointed in you. And then they walk away and you're like, oh shit, I would rather you yell and scream and holler at me and ground me than just say that. So it's kind of like that energy. It's just like this energy of you're just disappointed. So fuck, you know? <laughs> um, and I just feel you just let it go. And there, yeah, there's the death. Oh, it, it's over for the Capricorn and you're just healing here. So you find someone really disappointed you, Cap. They really let you down here. Um, it could have been a repetitive thing or it could have just been one thing. But whatever it was, it was enough for you to say, fuck you, have a nice day and just walk away and let this person uh, leave your life. And uh, they can watch you. They can watch your dust here. So let's talk about the chariot because the chariot is going right into this moon in reverse. But I also feel like. You're just moving forward. What's the chariot energy here for Capricorn? Talk to us. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, you might be running. <laughs> There's the star. What's on, what's on the bottom there? The death. I, I do, like, having the, this person must have been quite important to you. Um, it's not easy to walk away from this. You know, with the Knight of Swords and the star here, it's like you're trying... The message here is not to rush in he the healing process. It takes time. Whatever happened here, whatever secret, whatever lie, whatever this person did here, it does take time to allow yourself the opportunity to heal. Um, and death is, is a difficult transition. It's a difficult ending. It's not easy. And strength is having the courage and the strength to stand up for yourself, to set your healthy boundaries, to really do what's best for you. But with that chariot and the knight of swords, it's like I really get this rushing energy, this running energy. It's like you're jumping on the train. You just want to get the fuck out. Um, and it's just allowing yourself to heal. You can't run away or ignore those feelings. It's just giving yourself the time and the patience to deal with them. Yeah, there's judgment and there's the devil. Being honest and realistic about who this person is, about the situation, and allowing yourself to progress forward. But I feel it's hard. It's difficult. This person really let you down, Cap. Um, but then... We come to the Four of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun. So we go from this very deep and dark disappointment to like, I am happy. So you're just happy. Look what I just cut on the tower. You could be moving. Maybe this triggered a big move in your life. And this move was, was a destined move, right? You were supposed to, to end up. But the tower is changing your perspective, changing your point of view, especially with this hanged man. They might have been attacked or started getting aggressive with you, especially with the tower. But I also feel like with the hangman and the tower, you're just 
realizing and accepting this person and the situation for what it is. What's the Four of Wands here for Capricorn? It's four of Wands is celebration, harmony, happy home. Oh, hold on, that card fell on the floor. I'll grab it. Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Hold on. What was that card? Not, or, sorry, excuse me, the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so you're just at peace. There's a Wheel of Fortune. There's a, oh, that's why. There's a new opportunity coming through, baby. The Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, one door closes and another door opens. For some of you, I do feel this is like a really amazing job opportunity that's going to come through. I mean, this could have been just a job that disappointed you. Your boss said something was going to happen and it didn't progress. Um, if it was love and it was a person that disappointed you, there's love in the air. And if this is just a friend, then there's other friends, there's other kindred spirits, there's other family and friendly members that you can, you know, spend your time with. But I feel that you're at peace. You have other opportunities. You have other potentials in your life. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like your life is better without this person or this situation in it. So ending this, allowing this to happen was kind of the universe putting a little U-turn and putting you in a different position. I do feel for some of you, you're definitely moving and you feel good where you're moving. You feel good at your new house, your new apartment, your new condo, your new cottage, your new log cabin in the fucking woods, wherever you're going, you feel good. You feel happy. It's creating a sense of independence, a sense of pride within yourself. It's like a sense of accomplishment is a better word than pride, but this is just letting go of old stories. I mean, this could have just been a parent who was insulting you or made you feel bad, you know? Parents got to understand as parents, everything we do affects our children in such profound levels, right? And if we're constantly saying to our child, you're such a bad kid, Mark, or you're such a bad kid, Sarah, you're so bad. And that child believes that, right? And sometimes we get those things caught in our subconscious from our childhood, but um, so that happened for someone, but whatever's going on here, you're at peace. You're letting go of old stories. You're letting go of that situation. You're, you're content. You're celebrating. You're happy. It's like, I'd rather know this than not know this. And now I can move on to somewhere way better. And with that wheel of fortune, four of wands, nine of pentacles, it's definitely abundance. You definitely, like I feel like a sense of accomplishment. There's that judgment again. Why does the judgment keep coming out? Why are you giving us that judgment so many times? Because the judgment represents vulnerability, but it represents transitions, changes, big decisions, dark nights of the soul, spirit. You were conflicted about this. Whoa, there's the Ace of Cups. Not a, you know what it's like? It's like, okay, it's like you wanted to make a move, but you were comfortable. You were stable. You didn't want to take the risk. You didn't want to, you know, interrupt your routine, your stability. And then this happened and it forced you to do something that you always wanted to do anyways. You know what I mean? So it's like, let's say you lost your job and the new job offers 10,000 kilometers away, but you wanted to move there anyway. It's like, oh, well, wow, like the universe is really pushing me in this direction here. So, and it's kind of an energy where it makes you happy. This is really focusing on yourself. This is really focusing on creating that spiritual balance in your life with the nine of pentacles and the sun. The sun is becoming a master of yourself. And we notice the sun god Ra here is holding the ankh, and that's the key to life. And the key to life is living in the present, living in a moment, because that's a gift. Um, it's a secret to long life, too. Oh, um, that's what some say. That's what some say. But either way, it's just creating that balance. You're really focusing on the spiritual pursuit of things, looking at things from a higher perspective, a higher point of view, looking at it, how it benefited you, and really allowing yourself to grow and evolve and become a master of yourself, a master of your sun. Is there anything else you want to say about that? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa. Really controlling those negative thoughts. There's a Two of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse too is, is, is I feel like there's two messages. First message is control, negative thinking, worries, anxieties. Whenever we go through those changes and those transitions, it is human nature. It's a worry. Um, and it's just getting control of that, right? You don't want your worries or your fears or your anxiety to control you. You want to be in control of them. And now as well with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's making sure foundations are built strong. Let's say this is business and you're leaving this and you're starting a new business on your own. Make sure that you've done your business plan, you've done your research, your SWOT analysis, all those good things. It's just building a solid foundation. It's also recognizing the stresses of burnt out and, and when you need a break. So don't forget to do that. Um, but it's really a feel too about creating that balance because there again, we have the Two of Cups. Um, which is a card of balance. And there's the eight of wands creating that balance between the feminine and the masculine. That's what creates the magic looking for. There's the lovers and there's the six of pentacles and yeah. And with the lovers and the six of pentacles, making the choice to engage in people in situations where it's an equal give and take. Right. Um, so I feel like it's staying positive, staying focused, just getting control of the worries, the anxieties and the fear. I also feel for those of you where this was a relationship, with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the foundations weren't strong from the bottom up. So there was a little bit of a weakness in that connection and a little crack in that, in that energy. 
um, which would be a lack of honesty because the moon's in reverse here. So Capricorn, there's this huge disappointment here with this person or the situation, but you know, one door closes, another opens and you're feeling really good. Like I just get this sense that this forced you to go down a path that you wanted to take anyway. It's like you wanted to break up with this person. You were thinking about it, but you didn't do it. And then this secret came out. It's like, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was right. I should have done that six months ago. Um, kind of energy here. So you're happy. You're good. You're feeling good. Um, and it's just about letting go of any worries, thoughts, anxieties, and just being, you're just focusing on the growth and the spiritual aspect of this experience. I do feel I let you down big time. Okay. That's what we have here. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say here, Cappy. And we'll get back to the tarot. Spirit guides comes to this transition what's capricorn need to surrender to here ah yes your belief in scarcity the universe is asking you to be open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and you can succeed beyond your wildest dreams okay what's the biggest lesson that capricorn's learning from this experience judgment so i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges I'm hearing in my head the obstacle. What's the obstacle, the challenge here? Why are you wanting me to ask that? What is that for Capricorn? What do you want to say about that? The Eight of Wands, moving past the disappointment. Seven of Wands and judgment, not being, okay. Um, I feel like it's erecting, I feel like it's erecting healthy boundaries. You might got taken advantage of here, Capricorn, or someone took you for granted. Um, so it's just, first of all, determination to move forward. Second of all, it's just being realistic, accepting the situations for what they are. Third of all, it's making the decision to set healthy boundaries. So, um, I feel like part of the obstacle, the challenge was getting taken advantage of or taking for granted. And it's also going to be forgiveness and allowing yourself to progress forward after somebody that you trusted or cared about, um, let you down. Okay. Um, or what I'm hearing too, is some of you might've lost confidence in your ability to make decisions let's say you got caught in a bad situation a bad job a bad relationship you might have lost confidence in yourself and don't lose confidence in yourself just learn the lessons see the red flags see the sirens see something that you might have missed so that you don't miss it the next time as well okay uh what's the yeshua yeah we're leaving suffering move beyond the pain and just remember cap it's just temporary and that's what this card is all about is just inner alchemy working through processing those emotions processing those feelings and allowing yourself to progress forward but have patience with yourself with yourself as you heal and let go of that disappointment um but also remember that those feelings are just temporary it's not going to last forever okay so let's get your potential outcome now when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here. And when I say outcome, Capricorn, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how you're feeling. Let's see how things are going. Um, let's just talk about you and see how things are progressing here. Spirit guides, where's Capricorn in a month? How are they doing? We got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. We got the King of Cups now. Okay. Oh, shit. I forgot about signs. Oh, no, I didn't. I did them up there, but I forgot again. We have Can Cancer Scorpio Pike. There's a Seven of Swords. There's a two of wands and there is, what way is that? I'm going to take it upright. We have the three of pentacles here. I want one more. Yeah. And there's a magician, definitely a fresh start, new beginning, focusing on, you know, the kindred spirits, the people around you, people who recognize and appreciate your value and, and you know, what it is that you bring to the table. The Ace of Cups in Reverse tells me here, the Ace of Cups in Reverse is a card of need for self-love. It's needing to focus on yourself, your physical, mental, emotional well-being. So I feel like it's just focusing on yourself instead of focusing on the lie or the deceit or what it was that this person did. You know, because when we look at the Seven of Swords, it's anchoring this. And then we have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So there's still some confusion, some uncertainty. And sometimes we'll never know why people do this shit, right? I always turn to Hermes, um, teaching of Hermetics, principle of correspondence, as above, so below, as within, so without. Typically when people lie, cheat, steal, do that, but to betray all that deceitful shit, it's a reflection of them. It's not a reflection of you. Um, but I see you looking back saying like, man, I was so undervalued. I was so fucking underappreciated. They didn't even respect me. So it's kind of like this energy of like feeling so disrespected and a little bit disgusted. Like I'm even hearing sick to my stomach that this person treated you this way or did this to you, you know, after everything you did is what I'm hearing in my head. So I do feel some healing still taking place. I still see some confusion, but I do see you moving forward, focusing on the friends, family, with this job, you know, job opportunities, companies, people who are going to treat you with value and respect. I feel that that's a big theme here. 
Um, and that's by setting healthy boundaries. People will treat you the way you let them treat you, make it clear that you will not tolerate certain things. And sometimes that means letting those people go in order to welcome and open up yourself energetically for better things to come. So I see you looking forward. I see you progressing forward. I see you focusing on the positive, but I still see some confusion, some frustration, not fully understanding why they did that. Um, and, and feeling, you feel hurt. And it does take time, Cap, so just have patience with yourself. I feel confusion and frustration. But again, the Seven of Cups is having to make the decision to move forward without knowing all the answers, without having those answers, right? We got to forgive um, and allow ourselves to progress forward when we may not always know why certain things are happening. But what I do feel like it is when I believe, and I truly, truly believe that when things happen, you get put off course into a different path. It is the universe kind of putting that in that obstacle there to put you down a different course because they want you somewhere different. That situation was played out with that person. That situation in the universe has something better in store. So it's recognizing the resources, the talents, the skills within yourself, making sure those in your life appreciate, value you, um, prioritizing you and your self-love. But I still see some healing and um, just trying to understand. And if you don't, you know, that's what I see, Cap. I just want one more card to feel. Yeah, you got peace. And that's the Ten of Cups. It's just getting to that place, that peace. There's the five. Of, you know, it... I don't feel a page of, it could be an external message. I feel like it's like a download, an internal message, just coming to peace, coming to terms with the things that you cannot change and just saying, you know what? I'm happier. <laughs> My life is better without that. So I'm glad that I went through that because it's brought me here. It's bringing me down the path that I always wanted to go down anyway. So it's just getting into that principle of appreciation and being at peace and allowing yourself to progress forward, which is what I feel is going down here in a month. So Capricorn, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down in the collective right now. So, Cappy, I do hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like your reading and my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Capricorn. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Cappy? The answer, Cat, is yes. That's what's up. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.